Hello, and welcome to the Groovy Writer Podcast, where we explore how to find your writing groove, regardless of your circumstances. I'm your host, author and MFA instructor, Nicole McGinnis. Hey, fellow writers. So welcome to episode one, the maiden voyage of this podcast. I want to treat this as sort of an introduction, the who, what, why, when and where of the groovy writer. And also I want to answer the burning question, do groovy writers have to wear tie dye? So first of all, the who. Here's a little bit about me. As I mentioned in the show intro, I'm an author as well as an MFA instructor for a wonderful writing program which I just, I love dearly. And I'll be talking quite a bit about that because frankly, my students so often inspire me to want to talk more about issues that that really are so often universal for writers. And um, I've blogged on and off over the years, but I just really wanted to get into a little more of a um, kind of a free flowing, easy to put out there way of carrying on some of these conversations beyond the classroom uh, where, where maybe I could reach some other writers out there. I am also, coincidentally, a child of the 70s who memorized pretty much every episode of The Brady Bunch, hence the name of this podcast. Like so many writers, I have loved books since before I can really remember. I gravitated toward the written word all throughout my first 12 years of school, and then I majored, like so many writers, in literature with an emphasis on creative writing as an undergraduate. I went on to earn a master's degree in English, also with an emphasis on creative writing. And really those were such good years, learning from some amazing authors while getting to be part of a writing community of kindred spirits is how I think of my fellow students at the time. I had done a lot of teaching already by that point. For one thing, I worked off my master's degree by teaching multiple sections of composition courses. I had also worked as a special education aide and a horseback riding instructor for years. So teaching is something that's really in my blood. I have found that it's been a a wonderful complement to the writing life. I went on to teach at the community college level and then online at the university level when online teaching was still quite new back in 2005. So I've been doing uh, online instruction for quite a while. I continue to teach online now. I love it and I heartily frankly recommend it to any writer who is searching for a career that that does complement the writing life. Not everyone loves teaching, not everyone wants to teach or is really cut out for it, but If you are, we'll talk more about that, but I definitely do recommend it. In the midst of all that teaching and learning over the years, I found my literary agent who sold my first novel. A few years later, she sold my second novel. I continue to write and teach and now to podcast. To cast pod? Can podcast even be a verb? I'm not sure. Anyway, let's get to the what of this podcast. So I think one of the reasons I love teaching in an MFA program now is because, again, I remember being that 20-something writer who wanted to soak up as much knowledge as I possibly could about what it meant to be a writer with a capital W. I wanted to know it all. I wanted to know about craft. I wanted to know about how to get published. I wanted to know about how to create a sustainable writing life. And that's where the other inspiration for the name of this podcast came from. So I I use the word groovy sort of tongue in cheek and the Brady Bunch connection and being a child of the 70s and all of that. But also, frankly, what, what I have learned over the years, over the decades in this gig, this writing gig, is that it really is all about finding your groove. And the groove changes. Life changes. I don't have the same life I had when I was 20. I just turned 50 this year, by the way. I don't have the same life I had when I was 30 or 35 or 40. 
life itself changes and it will impact the writing. And we can't expect to stay in the same groove over the years, over the decades, if we want our writing to be a sustainable endeavor. So we're going to really talk about that. How, how do we not only get into a groove, but then switch gears when we need to, change the groove when we need to. So, you know, like most writers, like, like I am, my students are really busy. They range in age from their 20s to their 70s, very wide range of ages, and they exist also on this vast spectrum of life experiences, responsibilities, writing successes, writing challenges. And one of my favorite things about working with such a varied community, whether it's in an academic setting or not, is when we are able to get down to the nitty gritty of both writing craft and writing process. That brings us to the why of the Groovy Writer podcast. I have long been a fan of podcasts, writing related and otherwise. I live in Northern Arizona where we do a lot of driving and podcasts are great for that as well as really for any any time I have that's not writing. If I'm doing chores or working out, podcasts are great. We all know that. You put in your headphones, you listen to a podcast about something that interests you. And I've just, I have long thought that I should, you know, screw my courage to the sticking place, as Lady Macbeth so eloquently encouraged, and uh, learn how to create a podcast of my own. And it really has ha sort of taken a backseat to life responsibilities, other things sort of getting in the way. And I won't say the writing has gotten in the way because really the writing is the whole point, but my kids are grown and and almost there now. And so I, I have the time. And so you lucky listeners, you get a front row seat to all of my gaffes, kerfluffles and cringe inducing faux pas, faux pauses. I don't speak French, so I'm not sure if there's a plural for faux pas. Anyway, bless your heart for being here. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Groovy Writer Podcast. You can connect with the podcast on my website at nicolemcinnis.com and on Instagram at the Groovy Writer. The intro and outro music is Retro by Wayne Jones. Until next time, write on, Groovy Writers. Write on. <laughs>